It was a joyous and inspiring afternoon earlier this month as the singing priests of the Diocese of Springfield offered a wonderful concert at Bellamy School in Chicopee. And this event had an extra special meaning as the late Father Vern Dakota, the group's longtime leader, was honored. Real to Real's Peggy Weber was there and tells us now about this wonderful afternoon. I'm dreaming of a the singing priests of the Diocese of Springfield raised their voices in song at a two-hour concert at Bellamy School in Chicopee. People lined up more than an hour before the concert to watch the 15 priests from parishes throughout the Diocese of Springfield. The priests were not just there to entertain. They also raised funds for the purchase of an organ at St. Francis of Assisi Parish in Belchertown. It was their way of honoring their brother priest, Father Vernon Dakota, who passed away on June 1st. Father John Schaefer, the new pastor at St. Francis Parish, thanked the more than 700 at the concert and announced the organ had been ordered and should be ready for Easter Sunday, 2017. Springfield Bishop Mitchell T. Rosansky welcomed the crowd. A couple of people asked me if I was going to sing along with my brother priest, and I said, no, we don't want to empty the hall right away at the first song. What a joy and a privilege it is to be here with my brother priest and with all of you as we come together in this concert a real tribute to Father Vern Dakota. The concert offered the chance for many priests to show their various talents. Many of the 15 priests had solos, told jokes, or read from scripture. Father Matthew Alkenbright led the concert. He also accompanied the group on piano, arranged the music, and wrote humorous lyrics to a Christmas song that described the life of a parish priest during Christmas time. The song Silent Night was sung in English, Vietnamese, Spanish, German, and French. Father Alkenbright said that it showed the universality of the church. Also, the audience often joined in the singing and showed great enthusiasm throughout the whole concert. It shows, I think, the unity of the church, especially the unity of church in Springfield. Everybody from all parishes, from all the, 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 um, the uh, d deaneries, from all the, the areas of, of, of the diocese come together as one church to sing. He said the concert was both a lot of fun and a lot of work. However, he added that the priest made an extra effort to honor Father Vern. He enriched all of our lives with song, and so this is the most appropriate way to honor him, is through song and through a wonderful time of having everybody together. That's what he was all about. He loved having everyone together. Father C.J. Waitekas said he and his brother priest were honored to lift their voices for their good friend and brother priest. It just means the world because Vernon started this and Father Vernon must be thrilled that it's continuing on after his passing and it just means a lot to me. The concert also highlighted Father David Darcy on the drums and Father Francis Riley on the guitar. Said the little lamb to the shepherd boy Father Riley wrote and sang a moving song in honor of Father Vern to close the first act. The song accompanied many wonderful photos of Father Vern, and his family was in attendance. I want to celebrate your memory. The concert also highlighted a great fellowship among the priests. It is fantastic. What you don't see in the background is we're all laughing and joking about each other's parishes and it's just a great fraternity builder. And I think it's awesome for the people to see their priests, 17 of us, laughing and joking and I just think it's, it's like a, such a vocation builder. Father Byrne would have loved to see a long line waiting for him and his fellow priests to sing. But most especially, Father Byrne loved being a priest. I had the privilege to interview him shortly before his death. He spoke about the sacrament of marriage for one of our issues in the Catholic Mirror. And what came through loud and clear was how much he loved his parish, 
and his vocation. Getting 15 priests from all around the diocese to the stage was challenging. In fact, Father Matt, who directed the whole event, said that was the biggest challenge. However, the priests found the time, and the result was spectacular. And the audience agreed. It was a memorable afternoon of music and true remembrance of Father Vern. May the rains fall soft. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber. And until we meet again.